Yesterday, as part of its fifth year anniversary, Xiaomi unveiled its most budget handset to date, the Redmi 2A. Pricing it at the equivalent of $S97, the company swapped the quad-core 1.2 GHz Snapdragon 410 suck found on the Xiaomi Redmi 2 with the quad-core 1.5 GHz LED Core LC1860 chipset. That means a new GPU, of course, and thus the Adreno 306 GPU is out, and the male T622 MP2 GPU is in. The rest of the specs include a 4.7-inch glass carrying resolution of 720 by 1280, 1 GB of RAM, 8 GB of native storage, and dual SIM slots all powered by a 2200 mAh battery. The rear camera weighs in at 8 MP and a 2 MP snapper adorns the front. Android 4.4.4 is pre-installed with MIUI 6 running on top. 100% plus Brev 1 of 7 next sounds about right for a sub dollar 100 smartphone from a leading manufacturer, but the sticking point for you might be this relatively obscure lead core processor barely anybody outside of China has heard about. Well, Xiaomi has had a strategic partnership with lead core for a while, and last year there were rumors it will launch an incredibly budget friendly handset with 4G connectivity, powered by a lead core chipset and all of this materialized to the letter with the Redmi 2A. The LC1860 processor has four Cortex-A7 cores, clocked at 1.5 GHz maximums, and one auxiliary core for the mundane tasks, coupled with a dual-core ARM Mali T622 graphics processing unit. This lead-core silicon has now been benchmarked, and the results are pretty svelte for the phone's price point. The Redmi 2A scored more than 23,000 points on an 2-2, while the Snapdragon 410-powered Redmi 2 barely crosses the 20,000 mark. There is more to chipset than synthetic benchmark scores, but still, this N22 result goes to show that you won't feel underpowered with the Redmi 2A, especially at that price point which was a reason for worry when we heard the somewhat unknown processor brand that powers it. Thanks for watching stay tuned for more. Love you all.